telling you, man, like, cobalt bits, they're expensive in hell. They cut really good, but they don't last forever either. They get dull, They they and they're really brittle. And you got to be careful when drilling with them. And if you guys want an affordable solution, and, like, I've used a lot of Chuck Brand tools. I've used a lot of premium bits. I've had the Snap-on cobalts. I've had the Mac cobalts. I've had I've had snap on premiums, I've had Mac drill bits, but I'm telling you man, twelve years ago I gave these a try. And I've never gone back to any other drill bit. I drill a lot of stainless steel. Okay, a lot of stainless steel, my friends. Okay, I want you to take a look at these fibers, how clean these cuts. And I've been sitting here drilling holes with the same three eighths bit on a f550 rotor okay and just sitting here drilling through no problem a couple of years ago I, I showed people on live stream they asked me what drill bits i used i showed them the norseman's i took a snap on cobalt and i put it on a honda rotor and that hot that snap on cobalt had a hard time getting through it as fast as the viking did and the viking went through no problem and I used it with no oil. The snap on our oil, the cobalt, I, the, the, like the, the Norseman, I didn't put oil on it. It went through that hunt, that Toyota rotor really fast and easy. They put her. It's a little thicker, a little heavier, a little harder. But yeah, if you guys want an affordable solution, they have better ones too. Like this was a hundred bucks, uh, and they're like hundred thirty dollars now. And I'm talking Canadian dollars, anyways. But twelve years ago, that's how much I paid for it. And well. I've already explained to you guys, uh, when they got dull, before I went and bought my own drill doctor to sharpen them at home, I just took them back down to KMS Tools and they sharpened them for me for free. My little ones that broke, they replaced them for me for free. Uh, like, the quality of these things, they're made in the USA, but they have ones that are better than this. And I actually ordered a set because I want to see how good they actually cut compared to these ones. But they're cryo-treated molly blend and they're supposed to be actually cut better than than cobalt does they, they're supposed to be ultra premium but uh yeah if you guys want an affordable solution for drilling through steel that can take the abuse and no and these things be operate best in between six and hundred eight six and eight hundred rpm don't go over 800 rpm with a steel drill bit because you're just going to screw that steel drill built up even cobalt you're going to screw that cobalt up at speeds like this but six to eight hundred RPM is optimal for these things. They go through. I did these with no pilot holes or anything. I just drilled right through them. So if you like seriously, American made quality premium drill bits that are affordable. And most of the places that sell them are gonna take care of you when you buy them. But like I I can't push this enough, man. These are really good drill bits for the price you are not going to go wrong if you buy a set of these things you're going to be happy like look at how clean those fibers are how well they cut straight through man like hey and i'm just telling you you guys want a good drill bit set go up buy yourself a set of these ones and trust me you'll be happy you'll be happy